Okay, guys, I am here with a thrift haul. Do I look tired? I literally, like, just woke up a little bit ago. It's not even 7 a.m. yet, <laughs> but I'm going out of town this weekend to watch my niece play pickleball, so I have to get this video filmed and uploaded, and I just have, like, I need to get out tons of drafts. Um, so anyway, I'm filming this early, so if I look tired, that's why. I'm going to show you what I got at a couple of Goodwills consignment store in a couple of thrift worlds. Um, these items are going to go into my store and my closets for my reselling business. I am a full-time reseller. So if you haven't yet subscribed, I do three videos a week. Please consider subscribing and hopefully I can help you with your reselling business. So let's just get right into this. First off, I got these pair of Hoka's, which are so cute. I'm going to throw these in the wash just to clean them up a little bit, but I really like these colors. Um, this is a size nine. I wonder if Grace would want these. Ugh. I don't know. I really like them. She wears like a nine or nine and a half. So anyway, um, I don't know the exact style on these, but there's a number or it might say it. Oh, it's the Bondi eight. Um, so I think when I throw them in the wash, all this white will clean up. And then besides that, like there's not any little holes or anything in the toes and like the tread is still actually pretty decent. So I was excited to find those and they were like pretty cheap. They were $7 at my thrift world and a different thrift world I went to and Omaha location, they were like $25 for Hoka's. Um, next up is a pair of Merrill clogs. I got these because they're kind of more like fall, winter, um, like suede with the shearling lining, slip on clogs. Merrill's an outdoor brand. I've been picking up their hiking boots and their shoes recently, and they have been doing really good. These are a size women six. So I'll be able to find the style name of the inside, but I felt like those would be really cute for the upcoming season. Let's see. Um, next up, we have a dress that I'm going to try on. This is just from Old Navy. It's like a sporty dress. So I just got to make, or actually it's from Target. I got to make sure it's not too short and like skanky because <laughs> we don't want to look like that. I'm 40 something, 43. Sometimes when you get older, you just like forget how old you are. Or is that just me? It just doesn't matter anymore. So um, next up is a pair of pants from an anthropology brand if I can speak this is the brand tiny I don't pick up everything in this brand actually I leave it behind most of the time these are a size 10 um I did pick up these pants because they are a wide leg so they kind of have this like belted look and they're a red wide leg pair of pants if these were like a skinny or just like a chino type of like khakis I definitely would have left them behind but I felt like that this style is good and they're a bigger size for anthropology which I really like the selling. Next up, we have this pink top from a Lag & Look brand I've really been liking to sell. And it is Allie Miles. So Lag & Look is kind of like a loose layering look. It's a good keyword you can use in your title. Um, you can Google it to kind of see what the aesthetic is, but it's a lot of like oversized layering type stuff. Um, this one's a size large, pink and black striped. It usually kind of has some like interesting buttons. so has this little long button down here and then it has one in the back as well. I probably will list that around $35. Next up, I hardly ever get this brand anymore, but with certain things, this is J Crew. This is a size extra small. I got this because it's from 2023, so it's only a year old. Um, how you can tell that is the small tag behind the material. Um, so it says right here, holiday of 23. So it's just a really cute pink knit sweater. Um, I wanted to get some good sweaters and stuff into my closet for fall. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Next up we have a peach colored top from Free People. Um, this one, the size is missing, but I think it's a larger size, but you know, Free People can be like really oversized so we'll see that's an ebay offer or a message let's just check it on camera it's a message which is not what i want to see thank you oh somebody asked me to change the address on an ebay sale after they had already purchased the jeans and you can go in when you're getting ready to print your label you can edit the address so it's super easy anyway i think this is a larger size it's like orange like kind of like a wrap or like a deep v-neck like oversized top with these big sleeves. So I like selling free people in the larger sizes. I guess what I probably could do is find out the style name of this, which I will not be able to do either with the tag because the tag is missing. Um, I can look up 
on Google Lens, I can see like what it's called and then I can look on Poshmark and I can find someone else's listings that has measurements, <laughs> compare that to mine and figure out what size it is. Okay, next. Democracy jeans, 14. I really got to decide if I want to start slowing down on certain sizes of jeans for Democracy and Judy Blue. Um, for a little while there, I was able to do really good even with smaller sizes. But also it's been an off season for jeans. So we'll see here in the fall. But like Democracy, I just sold a pair, um, two pairs of size 20 for $50. I sold some recently in a 12 or 14 for $29, $28. So these ones are a size 14, Absolution. Um, just blue, high rise skinny. And then same with Judy Blue. Um, for a while there, even with the smaller sizes, I could still sell it pretty good. So I need to see in the fall here how it's going to be going and if I need to like change or stop picking up certain brands. I'm still trying to wake up. Also, we hope I don't have makeup under my eye. Okay, new rack. These are a pair of Lululemon shorts. There was somebody else looking at the items on the new rack, but I don't think they were a reseller. So I don't know what these are called because I have a horrible memory. So they are white pair of shorts. I can use Google Lens. I think these are a size 8. If I remember correctly, they're an older style because they don't have the numbers and letters around them, but some of the Lululemon shorts with the older style still can do fine. So I might try to like loosen this up so I can fully stretch out the waist, but that's fine. Um, that shouldn't be a big deal. Next up, we have some more shoes. These are Saucony. I think that's how you say it. Um, these are a pair of running shoes. And they're in excellent condition, which is why I got them. Still really good tread on the bottom. I don't pick up this brand a ton. But since they're in such good condition, I decided to grab them. They're a women's size 8, black, purple, with some orange. So I don't even think I'm going to need to wash those, which is great. We don't have to clean shoes. Next up, I think these are new because of this plastic insert. These are Ugg slippers. Um... And it doesn't look like they've ever been worn on the bottom either. So they were only $3.99 at my Goodwill, which is an excellent price. The other one still has a sticker on the bottom, I think. Yeah. And the size is a size, if I can find it, 7. So they have like a little bit of like dust, but I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're new. I, yeah, they are new. So I, I don't know. Like, that's not considered a tag. I can't list them new with box, but I could probably list like, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to list them, but I'm excited to get these Ugg slippers for the fall. Why did I, like, rattle on so long? Just to say, I don't know. Okay, receipt. I just keep all my receipts in a drawer on my desk, and then at the end of the year, I put them in a little tub and label them for what year they were for. These are a pair of Eileen Fisher pants. Linen is going to start slowing down because we're getting out of the summer season, but I didn't want to pass up good Eileen Fisher linen. These are a size medium, and they are a pair of white, uh, high raise like, wide leg pants. So, really good item from Eileen Fisher. If it was, like, a, just, like, a, I don't know, not as strong of a brand, I probably would leave them behind now, whereas in the spring, I would possibly pick them up. I'm prepared today with water, so that was smart of me. Um, next up, we have this coach bag, which is interesting because this store usually always puts their designer or name brand handbags locked up on a different rack. And this one was out on the new rack for only $5.99. So thank you for somebody missing this. Super pretty, really nice leather, big um, tan tote. It does have like tiny little like maybe watermarks or something, but overall it's in really nice condition. Um, so here's the inside again, pretty clean and then I'll be able to use um, the number and letters down here on the bottom of that creed to figure out the style. So I was really excited about this because usually I can't get handbags at my store because they mark them up, but sometimes they miss them. So yay for that. <coughs> I feel like my throat's getting really dry <coughs> and my daughter's texting me Grace. So let's answer her really quick. Yes, I'm filming a video. I would like to not have to go back and edit this. So if you guys are just listening to this while you're working, um, Sorry if it's weird when I stop every once in a while, but we're going to try to just keep going. Um, we're going out of town later, so maybe she's asking me a question. More Merrells, I think. Yes. More of the same style. These are a pair of brown, like darker brown, slip-on, shearling 
clogs. I think these ones are a little bit bigger. Let me see if I can find the size. Here it is. Um, these ones are a size, I don't know, here they are, size 7. So women's size 7, Merrill brown suede, slip-on, clogs, very cute, very fall-ish. She says, oh, she's trying to um, do her listings this morning. Do you know any good words that would go with that? Oh, Rebel Spirit Jacket. So we found this like Y2K, like grunge type of jacket. Okay, let's tell her. So it, it was very much like 2000s. So I'm going to tell her Y2K. She still asked for help, but she's doing pretty good. Um, maybe grunge, maybe distressed. Um, casual. Uh, I don't know. I think that would be good. It was one of those that was like reminded you of like the affliction ones. Um, or something like that with like the big embroidered wings. So we'll put embroidered. Okay, that should give her some good keywords. So she, for a little while, she was doing all of her pictures on like one day in the weekend and then the next day she'd do all of her listings and then she's like, Ugh, I'm just going to do them like every day. It doesn't take that long because right now she's only putting out three a day. So I'm like, yeah, you definitely could. Okay, next up. Wait, are these real or fake? I think they're real. Birkenstocks. Something about the inside looked off to me, but maybe I'm just imagining things. Um, Birkenstock, uh, red leather sandals. It says it on the buckle and the side and the inside, so I don't know why I'm double guessing myself. I'm trying to see what size these are. It's kind of hard to read because it's a little worn off, but ugh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. So... Can you guys tell what that, if you're watching the video, let me take off this sticker. They were $7.99. Can you guys tell? I feel like it might say 43 right there. So if you want to screenshot that and look at it and help me, I think that says 43. So I'll figure out the sizing when I list them. Anyway, Birkenstock sandals for $8. Yes, please. Thank you. Um, the only thing that's left in this bag is some cookie sheets for Grace when she moves out. So we are not showing those. Next up, I got these Madewell jeans. I don't pick up very much Madewell at all anymore, but certain styles I will still get. These are the Mid-Rise Classic Straight. I definitely stay away from the skinny. My ones that I had before, they were the Low Slung Straight. They sold really fast in like a week. These ones are in a size 29. Um, so these ones just need a little wash though, because at the bottom there's kind of like some dirt. So I'm gonna throw these in the wash, but good medium, um, medium wash jeans, straight leg. Those should do well. This also needs a wash. This is a men's um, Helly Hansen jacket. Um, and it was only $4.98, which is an excellent price. So this thrift world doesn't know what they're doing. Obviously, they mark up some stuff crazy. And then they put this Helly Hansen jacket at $5. So I'm going to give this to my brother, but I'm just going to give it a quick wash first. Um, Helly Hansen workwear, it says. And it says extra large. It's designed in Norway. So... Um, when I go to Epcot at Disney in their Norway section, they have Helly Hansen stuff. So that's kind of cool. It is like definitely a thicker jacket. So I hope everything, all the marks come out because I think that this could sell really well. And then one more thing I have to wash. Um, this is exciting. I found these Agoldi shorts. These are in a size 31. So an excellent size. And then the style number is in here. They're called the D short D E E. Um, there was a little bit of stuff on the back, I think, and then I'm noticing a spot right here. Oh, no, that's just fuzz. Um, so I already put some stain treatment on it this morning, so I'm going to let it soak a little bit. And those are going to go in the wash, too. Okay, let's show you some more shoes. We have some Allegrias. I know I said I'm going to, like, slow down on sandals, but <clears throat> some of them I'll still get that sell, like, good for me. And Allegria sell good for me. These are a pair of, um, like, flip not flip-flop, but kind of, like thong, wedge, patent leather sandals with the, like, big buckle. These ones are in a size 36, so probably a women's size 6, although I feel like they're a little bigger than that. Um, I'll double-check Allegria's sizing, but, yeah, I grabbed those, plus I was like, I need to list... I think I have enough drafts to put out my listings today, but I'm still going to need enough for Saturday and Sunday. I'm filming this on Friday. And so that, I'm trying to do 17 a day now. I upped it by one, so I need 34 listings in my draft. So I'm like, okay, I have to get inventory um, to take all these pictures today. 
So I'm going to take at least 34 pictures today. I don't have to necessarily draft them all today. I could do it at my hotel. I'm actually, we're staying at Airbnb, but at least get the pictures. Okay. Next up, Teo sandals. I've, the last two times I've had Teo sandals, they've sold pretty quickly. And these ones are called the Escape Sandals. And they are a size 8. Uh, brown leather sandals. These are like a comfort brand. So I like to pick them up. In the sandals, I have another comfort brand, and this is Vionic. Um, these are really nice condition. They almost seem like they're new. They're like a burgundy uh, leather slip-on shoe or like a loafer. It says Vionic here in the back as well. I have a pair of Vionic beach shoes and they are so comfy. Okay. And then I picked up these Chacos just because the last Chacos I had, they sold really fast. So I think people are definitely still hiking and stuff. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to grab these. Um, the size in these is in the back right here. It's just like on the shoe. So when I first started uh, reselling, I didn't know I was looking all over in the inside and the bottom and I couldn't find it. It's on the back. So these are a women's size nine. Um, I'll use Google Lens to figure out the style of these and list them at like $35. That's what I listed the other ones at. So we have plenty of shoes to list. Um, how about some more shoes? This is definitely a big shoe haul. We have some Allegrias um, again, but these ones are a pair of clogs. So these ones are, I don't even know what you would call this type of design, but they're almost like an iridescent type color. They're a size 39. So I think that's just a women's size nine. Allegria has got this little like butterfly logo. Those are in nice condition. And then I also got, I think it's the same person that donated them. These ones, these ones are also like kind of a rainbow ish iridescent um, really nice condition and these ones are a size 40 I guess so it's a different size one size larger but I was excited to find those yay um, let me get the other one next up we have a pair of Merrells I was gonna do a thrift with me video for you guys for this video but I literally don't have time um, during volleyball season it's gonna be harder for me to do ones that need a lot of editing like I, I can get them in there sometimes but I really have to focus on what makes me the most in my business, which is getting good items from my closet. But I still want to share with you what I found. Uh, Merrill brown and pink hiking shoes. These ones are a size, if I can find it, seven and a half. They have a little bit of wear on the inside up here, but I don't think that's really going to matter that much. They still have really good tread, which is what you want to look for kind of when you're hiking. <coughs> and I think... This person donated multiple pairs. Um, here's another one. Let me see if it's the same size. Yeah, seven and a half. Tan, leather, low top, like athletic shoes, hiking shoes. Um, another receipt. I spent $191 at that store. Um, here's the other ones. Here's some more. Merrill, gray and blue seven and a half so yeah this had to have been all of the same person and they're all in like really nice condition well except for the one had a little bit of wear but otherwise like pretty good for hiking um and then here's the other ones seven and a half these ones are like a gray with a coral pink low top hiking shoes okay that's it for the merrells <coughs> next up <coughs> next up i have a dry throat um, Dansko. These are a pair of Dansko clogs. These are a size 36. Slip-on leather clogs with a little like bow on top of here. I can use the number right up here on the top to figure out the style name or I can use Google Lens. Some Danskos sell better than others so look up the style that you have. Those are so cute. I got these um, sandals as well. This brand is actually really expensive but it doesn't always sell that great. It's Sesto Muji maybe? Um, I sold some sandals for these guys at the beginning of summer extremely quickly. I really like these. They're a pair of like brown leather um, slip-on with a block heel. And they are a size 8.5. They were only $4.98. So I went ahead and grabbed those. And then my exciting shoe find of the day there were these pair of Rothy's. Um, I've been finding so much Rothy's lately, or Grace has been, so that's been exciting. They don't sell as good as they used to, but I still get excited to find them. Um, these are a pair of, like, round toe slip-on flats in a size 8. 
So you can pull this out um, to make sure that the bottom part, well, the bottom part has something too, but anyway, there's things you can pull out. You can check to see if they're made in the USA, made in China, make sure they're authentic because Rothy's are fake, not a ton, but I feel like it's usually pretty easy to like figure out. So um, these ones, like you can pull this part out, but then there's like another thing in here that you can pull out, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm trying to just like keep this haul moving. So yay for Rothy's. We have one more Goodwill bag and we have a consignment bag. So Goodwill, this was from yesterday. I found these Justin boots. These are a women's size seven and a half, um, brown with pink. These ones won't go for a ton just because of their signs of wear, but I'll still list them for like $35. So I was glad to find those. Next up, these were on the new rack. These are a pair of Free People Movement. That's what their um, logo looks like, like a piece of wheat, I always say. Um, and they're kind of this interesting green tie-dye-ish color. Um, I don't know if they're reversible because, no, because they're not, because the tag's on the inside. But I was like, why is it the logo on the inside? So anyway, size extra small, free people movement leggings. Those aren't going to go for time, but some good athletic wear. Um, I got a pair of jeans, and these are a pair of Silver Tab loose jeans. These are vintage so excited to get these. I think that they will do good. These ones are in a size five long juniors. So I probably will list them as a women's size instead of a junior size, but they're a good light wash and good for the tall people like me. So that was exciting. A good like Y2K find. Um, next up. Oh, that's not, that's for me. I got this vintage sweatshirt just because I felt like it had really good vibes. Um, it says San Francisco. It's like a quarter zip mock neck pullover sweatshirt. I just feel like somebody's gonna want that. So I grabbed it. Um, next up we have a pair of Anthropology pants. These are in a size eight petite by Anthropology. These are pink, high rise, wide leg with a little like kind of almost like a jogger bottom. This was actually in a section at the very end of a rack where I think it was somebody's putbacks of maybe another reseller. Maybe stuff they didn't want, but some of the stuff I was like, I'll take that. And this was one of them. So I was glad to find that. Um, next up, I got a couple coats off the new rack, which was exciting. There was a few other resellers in there. And so the cute little worker was like, I'll bring out all the new racks for you. I was like, oh, thanks. So then it's just like the race of the resellers. I don't know. It's like slightly awkward, but I'm like, I have to be somewhat aggressive, not like pushing people, but like. I am walking with this person <laughs> to where they're putting the rack and I'm going to try to get to it as soon as I can. Um, but I, I be nice about it. So like if they're looking on it with me, I'm not going to like shove everything over, but like I can see that some resellers, they just, they don't want to do that. And they'll just kind of like, just stay back and not look. But it's like, if you want to get the good stuff, you're going to have to just have a little awkwardness and aggressiveness and go over the new rack sometimes if there's multiple people, because otherwise it's going to get taken so quickly. So first up, I got this North Face coat. I think this is a men's. Um, the size is kind of worn off. So we're going to have to do measurements, but it is like a gray or it could be women's. I don't know. I'll Google lens it. It's like a gray and white coat. So definitely want to be getting like good winter coats um, for the upcoming season. And then the other one is this really nice black puffer coat by the brand Marmot. Um, Marmot is an outdoor brand. This might be downfilled. It's a size small. Um, I think this is definitely a women's because it's like a mid-length. So that's nice. I usually like to wear medium in jackets, but this is nice. So I don't know if me or Grace might keep this. Otherwise, it should make us pretty good money. Um, the lining is polyester. Oh, yeah, it is a downfilled. So really nice Marmot downfilled puffer coat. That's going to be a possible, I don't know. I got to see what Grace needs. Otherwise, I'll sell it. Um, this is a free people size medium. This is just a flannel top, which should be good for fall. Not going to make me a ton, but I should be able to list it like 30 or $35. And I want to have some good flannels in my closet before fall. This is, is it What's the material? Oh, it's just 100% cotton. So yay for that. 
Um, and then I have this navy blue. This was also in the putback section. Um, this is the brand Ireland's Eye Dublin. I've sold this brand before. It's new with tags. It's called the Glen Ross Cardigan. And it is a navy blue um, knit, like mid-length cardigan. And it is 100% virgin wool made in Ireland. So no clue why you wouldn't want this, but I do. I do want it. They also put back this, a Lululemon short sleeve. So I could kind of get it with this because it's not going to go for a ton, but it's cute. I mean, it's just a good little like short sleeve top. I might keep this for myself actually, or I might see if Grace wants this. So we're going to try that on. That's going to go in the me pile. Um, next up we have this brand, this is a Maeve by Anthropology top. This is a size four and it is just a bright, colorful floral top. It's got a button down with the tie knot detail at the bottom. That's so cute. Um, next up, I got these Lululemon pants. These are a pair of navy blue, I think, drawstring pants. I don't know the style of these. They seem to be like a straight leg. Um, and then the logo isn't the same color right down there, but they seem like a newer style. So I'm guessing they would have a size dot in here somewhere if I can find it. And I won't know the style right now, but I can at least tell you guys, if you guys see anything you ever like want to buy from me, message me on Instagram. These are a size eight. Yeah. So these are really uh, classic and I feel like a good newer style. So I was excited to grab those. And then I have this cashmere sweater by a brand I hardly ever get, and that is Orvis. But since it's 100% cashmere, I was like, yes, please. This is a size large. It is a gray and blue zip-up cardigan sweater. So really soft, cute color blocking on that. Um, next up, we have a pair of Lululemon shorts. So yay, this is um, was also on the new rack. These are a size 8. So maybe the same donor as the pants. They have a cuffed detail and a tie-dye uh, print with the logo right down there and the thicker drawstrings. So I was excited about that. My phone, I mean, my camera's going dark. I hope you guys are still here. It's literally been like a long time. But hey, long videos are good sometimes. Okay, let me show you the things from the consignment store. We hope the camera doesn't um, get too overheated and die. Lily Pulitzer, size 4. This is a really pretty hot pink with gold embroidered detail mini dress. I love selling Lily Pulitzer. Some things do better than others, so definitely look up the style on those. This is exciting. This is a really pretty maxi dress. I saw comps over $100 for this, and it is by the brand Tanya Taylor. Um, this is a size 8, so it's a good size, and it's this really cute ruffly um, floral long maxi dress. So I was super excited to find that to add to my store. Next up, this is Vintage Express, but it is silk. And so that's why I decided to get it. 100% silk in a size 13, 14, but I feel like this style is so cute if I can get it. Um, so it has this like cowl neck with these really cute little prints with the blue and cream. And it's got some ruffles in the bottom. It's like a midi length. Uh, very Y2K vibes. I got some Lily Pulitzer shorts, a few pair. Um, these ones are a size four. They're called the Buttercup Short. These ones are blue with the scalloped hem. Very classic Lily Pulitzer. These ones are a size four. Pink, blue, and white. Super cute, bright, colorful. And then the last pair here, the Buttercup Short again in a size four bright, colorful, scalloped hem, preppy. Last item. Nope. Two more items. Um, I love selling this brand. This is Zarina. Sometimes it sells really good for me. Sometimes it sits for a little bit. These are a size small, gauzy cotton, navy blue, high rise, straight leg pants. Yes, please. And the last item that we got is a pair of Ming Wang pants in a size 1X. Plus size Ming Wang does really good for me black pull on like career straight leg pants so that's my haul you guys thank you so much if you stuck around all the way to the end put a comment down below if you made it we're almost at 30 minutes here i am going to get 
tons of pictures taken. I'm going to do my shipping and then I'm hopefully going to get one more shopping trip. Might do some shopping when I'm out of town. We'll see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see what I'm doing this weekend. Um, I'm so excited for my niece, Emma. On Friday, she played in a pro qualifier tournament with, okay, she's 13, first of all. She played with a guy who's like in his mid to upper 20s, who's a coach, a tennis coach here at a local college. He's a really good pickleball player. He's a pro player. Um, she qualified with him for the main draw. So today she's playing in her first pro tournament at 13. So I'm so proud of her. And then yesterday she played doubles junior. So it was 16 and under. She won with her partner. She's 13. And she, the other partner is 12. And they won gold in that. So super cute. I get to go watch her Saturday, Sunday. And that's her amateur divisions. Um, just with some other adult friends that she has. So anyway, that's exciting. That's going to be my weekend. Um, I'm going to stop blabbing. I have to get to work. Bye, guys.